Maganda nga raw po at salamat po sa organizers ng 2023 Bicol Social Media Summit for inviting me to share my thoughts on public servants, social media, and their role on Philippine society. Napaka-timely po ng summit na ito as we need to have a serious discussion about the power and reach of social media, particularly with regards to the interplay between public servants, journalists, and social media platforms. There is no denying that social media is part of our lives. According to Digital 2023, the Philippines, well, there were 85.16 million internet users in the Philippines at the start of 2023, with the internet penetration estimated at 73.1%. The report further states that our country currently has 84.45 million social media users in January of 2023, which is close to three-fourths of our population. Sa madaling salita po, marami sa ating mga kababayan ay online na. Kaya kung gusto natin sila makausap, social media is one of the surefire ways to reach our people. Now, as public officials, we understand the importance of effective communication and engagement with the public. In the past, public servants use what is now referred to as traditional media to communicate with the public. However, in the recent years, social media has emerged as a powerful tool that has revolutionized the way we connect with citizens. Social media platforms have provided us with unprecedented and unmatched opportunities to directly engage with our constituents, fostering a sense of accessibility and transparency. Through platforms such as Facebook, we can share updates, announcements, and various initiatives instantaneously, ensuring that our message reached a targeted or wide audience in real time. For instance, during these times of crisis, social media has proven instrumental in disseminating crucial information swiftly and efficiently, allowing government to address concerns and provide guidance regarding the latest developments affecting the public. Nakita natin yan nung pandemic, nung kasagsagan ng pandemia. Kung gustong malaman ng ating mga kababayan ng pandemic alert levels, hindi lang sila nakakaabang sa TV, they also use their phones to go online and check government Facebook pages as well. Kahit sa distrito namin, ginagamit ko ang Facebook to inform my constituents about ongoing projects that can benefit them. Kung may feeding program man o medical mission, malaking tulong po ang Facebook para ipakalat ang balita tungkol dito. However, we must also acknowledge the limitations and potential drawbacks of social media. The sheer volume of information available on these platforms can sometimes make it challenging to filter out noise and distinguish reliable sources from misinformation or disinformation. As we have learned, the rapid spread of rumors and falsehoods can pose significant challenges for public officials seeking to disseminate accurate information. Nakita din natin ito during the pandemic. Mabilis din kumanat ang fake news at inaccurate information. Therefore, we must be vigilant and diligent in our efforts to combat misinformation by promoting media literacy, collaborating with fact-checking organizations, and consistently providing credible and verified information through official and legitimate media channels. Dito malaki maitutulong ng ating mga kaibigan sa media. Journalists, like public officials, also have access to social media platforms. Journalists have long served as guardians of the truth, using television, radio, and the printed page to inform our citizens. Now you must do the same in social media, which unfortunately is populated with individuals and groups who seek to twist the truth to further their own agendas. Sabi ko nga po sa launch ng Bagong Pag-asa Library School, Bagong Pag-asa Elementary, sa Distrito 1, nakakatakot at nakakahinayang na mas naniniwala pa ang mga bata sa nakikita nila sa YouTube o TikTok kaysa sa tinuturo ng ating mga guru. Sadly, the same applies not just to Filipino children but to adults as well. Walang pinipiling edad ng fake news. Wala ding age bracket ng marites at tolets. Kaya po magtulungan po tayo, whether in government or the media, we are the public servants and we have a shared responsibility to ensure the power of social media is utilized for the benefit of our kababayans. The war against disinformation and fake news will be fought on many fronts and will not be won overnight. But working together, I have no doubt that the genuine public servants and consensuous journalists will ultimately triumph. Maraming maraming salamat po.